In this video, I'll teach you how to export your project for the web projects into a Microsoft Excel workbook. If you've been using the new project for the web application, you've probably already discovered that there's no native printing capabilities in the tool. <laughs> what? At least not yet so far. In this video, I'll show you how to work around that limitation by exporting your project into a different file type, and then from there, you can print your project information. So let's get started. I'd like to print this project in my project for the web application, but as you already know, there's no native printing capabilities built into this application, at least not yet. So I'm going to use the workaround, which is to export this project into a Microsoft Excel workbook, and then I can print the workbook any way I want. So here's how to export the project to Excel. In the upper right corner of the screen, click the More Actions or dot 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 button. On the menu, choose the first item, Export to Excel. Project for the Web will display a series of screen tips telling you about the progress of this operation. And when the export is done, you can click the up arrow button to the right of the workbook name and on the menu choose the open item. The system will launch Microsoft Excel and then it will open the project. It will warn you to be careful files from the internet can contain viruses so be sure and click the enable editing button at the top of the screen. I want you to notice that in the upper left corner of the worksheet, Project for the Web gives us a nice high-level summary of information about the project. Also, please notice as I scroll through the list of columns, Project for the Web exports every task-related column available in the tool. You can see items like the task names, duration, start, finish, effort, who the tasks are assigned to, dependency, relationships, and so forth. Once you've got the workbook exported, you can delete any columns that you don't want to print and then go ahead and print the information about your project. Cool! Was this video helpful to you? I sure hope it was. And if it was, please consider giving it a like and even subscribing to my channel. But more importantly, I'd really like to know what questions you have about this project for the web application. So if you have a question or even a comment, please add them down below in the comment section. And if you ask me a question, I'll always do my very best to answer your questions. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.